Hello and what's up YouTube? In this video, I will show you how I was able to reuse and do welding on a car LPG tank. Apparently, these cylinders have an expiration date and they have to be removed from service even if the tanks are perfectly fine. I was able to buy this used tank dirt cheap. I will be reusing the LPG cylinder as an air tank since I also have a discarded air compressor with a motor lying around. I will be welding on the flammable gas tank and the major concern is that it does not explode on my face. So obviously, the first thing I do is to release all the flammable gas. Then I thoroughly clean the inside with soap and water to remove the propane odorizer residue. I would like to remove the original valves on the tank, but looks like they are permanently attached and did not budge with a hammer. So I took out the hacksaw and just cut them off. With the valves removed, it is easier to roll the tank from side to side to clean the internal. And finally, I flushed with water several times. And that is all the preparation I did with the LPG tank so that it is safe for welding later. The propane or LPG is actually stored in the tank under pressure in liquid form. So the tank is originally equipped with this level gauge with a float inside. It has a flange that is completely closed off. So I think the level gauge has some kind of magnet inside for the gauge movement. It has a rubber seal and I'm not concerned of air leaking out of it, so I just put it back on. For the other holes where the valves used to be, I will just patch them with some quarter inch thick flat bar. I will be needing ports for the air tank and I simply cut off the ends of these pipe fittings to be used as bungs. That I will weld later to the tank. I will weld those threaded pipe fitting ends over the holes I drilled on the tank. There are a total of three holes I drilled on the tank. I sand the surfaces in preparation to welding. Sparks fall inside the tank during sanding and I'm not yet blown to pieces so I'm pretty sure that there is no more danger of explosion. Aside from the ports, I will also be welding some angle steel bar that bolts into the air compressor motor. These are the pieces of quarter inch thick flat bars I will use to patch those holes. Then it's time to weld the patches the bungs, the air compressor motor mounts, and I also added some caster wheels.
Welding the caster wheels is easy because the LPG tank already have this flat bottom footing. After all the welding is done, assembling the air compressor components on top of the tank is just straightforward. By the way, I got this air compressor from work with a burned out electric motor. Our company already bought a bigger air compressor and we turned the original air tank into a barbecue pit. The air compressor with the motor was discarded and I just picked it up for free from the scrap metal bin. I had the electric motor rewinded for a small amount of money and so I just needed an air tank to have a working air compressor again. This expired car LPG tank is the cheapest that I was able to find to be used as an air tank. I tested the air compressor and fortunately, no leaks even with my crappy welds. So that is it guys for this weekend project of mine. I will later make a soundproof box for it to cut down the noise. I hope you learned something in this short video, especially if you are thinking of safely welding and reusing old propane tanks in your projects. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much and God bless you all.